Hey folks, remember me? I'm back. And so is Evrecord. On the App Store. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Rob and my mission primarily on this channel is to help you screen record your iPhone and iPad screens and share them with the YouTube world. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that in the past couple of months because of a new long-term project, which you'll probably find out about in a channel update. But finally, I do have some time to do a little bit of recording and I have some fantastic news. It's two people returning to the screen recording scene at the same time. And that is what you might call the forefathers of screen recording on iOS devices long before we any had any native support and they are called Evrecord. Now the miraculous thing is, and you kind of never imagined this would happen, but it's available on the App Store and if you don't believe me just go to the App Store and do a simple search for Evrecord, if I can spell it right first time, which I have. And lo and behold, there it is, available to download. Now a couple of quick things to point out first. For a limited time only, this application is free on the App Store. After a month, it will cost 99 cents. So irrespective of the quality of the screen recorder right now, you should download it and then at least you've got the free version. The second thing to point out is that it does record, but it also broadcasts as well to YouTube. So this could be potentially just the application you were looking for. So might as well get it. Now, as per the iOS 11 screen recording scene at the moment, this screen recorder, just like all the other ones available on the App Store, go through the native iOS 11 screen recorder at some point. In other words, you have to bring down the control panel, make sure that the screen recorder functionality is switched on, long press on it, and as you can see, I've got several options here, including Facebook, which is a new screen recording option, which is very interesting. But we have every card there. And if you're gonna broadcast to YouTube, make sure that the microphone is turned on as well. Um, but once you're ready to rock and roll, start broadcast, and then you'll be screen recording or broadcasting whichever option you choose from the application itself. There you are, there's a counter going on there. And now I'm gonna do some quick screen swipes. We're not gonna go into too much detail in this video. We'll do a proper review in the future. Once you've finished, go back to your screen recording, stop broadcast, and with any luck, we should have now a screen recording to look at. Okay, let's return to the Evrecord application itself. Go to recordings, we can see that we have a new recording here, and let's have a listen and a look, see if it did a semi-decent job of recording. You choose it from the application itself. There you are, there's a counter going on there. And now I'm gonna do some quick screen swipes. We're not gonna go into too much detail in this video. Everything looks good from a basic perspective. So yeah, I would say check it out, try it and see what you think. It's free. So as I say, I've not been around on the Video Gadgets channel for a couple of months because I've been busy, but also because I've not been moved to make any content regarding screen recorders until Evrecord came out on the App Store. I think I owe it to the developers of this app. Yes, it didn't work when it was released on iOS 10 and there was all sorts of problems. But previously, as one of the pioneers of screen recorders in the iPhone, iPad space, who knows, we may never have had Airshow. I may never have got myself involved in the niche market of screen recorders. We may never have seen Video or any other screen recorders or forced Apple to create their own screen recorder. So I all think we owe a debt of gratitude to Anthony I get it yellow. I definitely pronounce your name right. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, there's already plenty on the channel, then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal and check out all of my playlists. I will be back soon. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.